Hello guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Come on in. We are going to paint some really pretty flowers tonight. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Your week is almost over. So let's take a little time to kind of hang out and I'm going to show you how to paint these simple flowers. Woo, let me turn this down. Oh, please. Oh, please. Okay, here we go. So here they are. Super simple. And we're going to do this step by step so that you guys can do this too. I keep getting comments that, you know, you want to learn how to paint flowers, but they never turn out. We're going to do this just step by step together so you guys can see exactly how we do it. Hello, Patty. Hi, Diana. Hi, Michelle. Hi. I'm so glad I get my comments on my phone. Sometimes they just don't show. This is my segment for Craft Around the Clock. So glad you're here. Let me know if you are watching from Craft Fire on the Clock, if that's how we met, or if you're just watching on my page. But regardless, if you go up to the description in my video, you will see how to get to Craft Fire on the Clock. And there's always crafters on all throughout the day, so you're never without somebody to watch. Hello, Leanne. I sent your package today. Um, yes, we're gonna, so here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. Do you guys have a preference on colors? I've got all my little paints sitting here. Do y'all wanna see green background or blue background? They're pretty much exactly the same, just colors. Hello, Donna, thank you for sprinkling. You guys know how much I appreciate that, I truly do. Hi, Patty, glad you're here. Hello, Christy. Hi, Cheryl. Thank you so much, guys. VIP in the house, Shelly Ann. We have lots of VIPs here already. We don't have that many watching, but most of them are VIPs. <laughs> when I say that, it means very important people, very inspiring people. So it's kind of a play on the typical VIP because you're all important, whether or not you're in my group or not. But the ladies that are in my private group are so inspiring, and that just seemed to be the perfect name for us. So let's see. You said both pretty. Hi, Zena. Hi, Rosie. Glad you're here live, Rosie. Hi, Kathy Dean. Thank you for sprinkling, my friend. I appreciate it. Hi, Robin. So, let's see. Blue, blue. We have a couple of blues. We're going to go with blue because that's what I see. So, let's do this one. I'll leave them both out. Maybe you can see them all while I paint here. So, I'm going to grab, this is good, any kind of aqua-ish green is so pretty with this type of, with these colors. You know, it's just kind of my colors. I'm going to go ahead and put out Laguna, but I've got several here that we could use. Oh, wow. Am I low of this? Didn't feel like it. Hello, Michelle Estrada. Hi, Tina. Glad y'all are coming in. Okay, we'll go with a different one. Let's go with, I knew this was going to be bluegrass green. Okay, this is bluegrass green. I am going to put a little white with it, so I'll show y'all kind of how to do that background. Actually, that is not as blue as I want. Hold, please. And I've got some, here we go, here we go, here we go. We'll add this to it. This is a really pretty Bahama blue, I believe. Let me, yeah, Bahama blue. And I love it, but it is a little too blue. So I'm going to add that green. We'll kind of get our own. Leveda, thank you so much for the stars. Your package went out today. It was so fun getting those ready for you guys. Hopefully, um, you guys will be posting your beautiful heart ornaments when you get those and get some time to get them done. I love kind of inspiring you and, and sharing. So like literally sharing my supplies with you because I was like, oh, these are just too cute. So I'm just adding some of this. Um, it's more of a green aqua or turquoise color and I'm gonna mix those two and make my perfect one. So see that? I love turquoise. I love turquoise jewelry and that's why I think this tends to be one of my favorite colors. Making a big mess here with my, mixing with my brush. Hi, Monica. Hello, Ann. I see your little picture. Sorry to call you out. <laughs> Hi, Lori. How are you doing, girl? Are you, are you um, still unpacking? Are you, tell me how it's going. You guys fill me in. You know, some of you I know a little bit about, but I may not have had an update lately. So let us know. Use this time to kind of, chit chat with each other and see what's going on support each other all the things i love being here live with you guys i just you know literally kind of look forward to these live times all day and 
my family's in there eating dinner and I was like, oh, not hungry. I'm going to do this and then I'll eat. But you know, it's like, I don't really want a big meal before I try to sit here and talk a lot. Oh, and thank you. And Monica, we must be having a stars party. Thank you guys so much. Hi, Faith. Glad you're here. <laughs> Anna, I called you out. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Monica, I hope you're doing good. Okay, so already pretty background, right? So this is just a flat brush that I'm using and I'm gonna get this background on. So typically I would paint the other side as well, but we'll just do the top tonight with the flowers. Hi, Sheila, hi, Sherry. Um, and you don't have to use anything on this. It's a ceramic ornament and it is bisque, which means it's been fired once and they can, you can, you know, put things on it and then fire it a second time and it's like a glazed ceramic. But we can also just take that first firing, the bisque they call it, and paint on it and then put a sealer and it's almost as pretty. So let me show you this one that's already finished and you will see with that sealer on it, it's just beautiful. And I could have gone ahead and done um, resin which would have made it even thicker and glossier, but I typically use the DuraClear on these, and um, they it works great. It just gives it a beautiful finish, and so I don't have to, I don't want to say waste my resin, but it's so pretty that I'm okay with it just like it is, right? So, thank you guys for the stars party. I appreciate you. I don't know, sometimes they let us do one and sometimes they don't. Hi, Monica, Texas Breeze Creations. How are you tonight? Thank you, Leanne. Just a pretty color, isn't it? She just said, she said your name, Grand Grandma. Now what? She just said, she said your name, Grandma. I don't know what that means. Help me, help me. Okay, so anyway, this is, and I sell these ceramics, so let me know if you watch this and you think you might want one. I will put a listing up. So what I'm gonna do is, you can use a pencil, but I like using my little chalk pencil. <clears throat> and I'm going to, y'all, the, sorry, I keep clearing my throat, but we have allergies here like crazy because now it's cold again. So we keep going from hot to cold. Oh my goodness. Oh, of course. Um, well, this is what I use first, multi-purpose sealer. This is what you hear me talk about all the time. Put this down before you paint on wood or metal, and this will really help. This is what I use as a top coat a lot of times, DuraClear. It is uh, pretty liquidy, it's not thick. So if you don't like triple thick, which is another one I use, this will be your next best one. And I know Debbie Rigg with Studio MDAZ, she mixes the two. But I don't have any problems with either one. So we're just gonna kind of get a center of this flower going. And I'm kind of, I just kind of get my bearings on how I want it to look. So can y'all see this at all? Um, and then, you know, you're just making your petals which are gonna be pointed and then kind of come in at the base. And watch how fast I do these. We do not have to be perfect. When you see a flower and petals on there, they're not perfect. They're going all kind of ways. You know, they're not, they're never perfect. So I'm just kind of going around this little circle making my petals. If I have a large spot here, I'm gonna add one in the back. So don't overcomplicate this, you guys. You know, when you, a lot of people get kind of uptight with their art, but if you can learn to do what I'm doing and just kind of go with it and just start chalking out something, it's chalk, so you can always erase it. But, um, but you'll learn that, wow, it turned out pretty and I didn't have to stress over it. And then that's when you're like, okay, this is a game changer. So this type of art may not be for everybody, but it definitely is what I love. Now here, where I have way too much room, I'm gonna fix that. That it, oh, that's gross. Let me, let me not do that. Hold on, hold on. I shouldn't have done that. 
So you can just take a little baby wipe, or I'm just getting a little piece of this paper towel wet. Where was it? Here. And come back in. And that one, I'm going to do two in here. Oh, Nancy, glad you're here. So glad you stopped in. If you're a first-time watcher, I would love for you to say hi. You don't have to, because I know some people are, like, shy. They don't want to be called out. But I do love to go back and say hi to you guys. So, see, we can always just kind of come in here and fix any. This is not perfect, but here's what we've drawn so far. Just kind of sketched a little somewhat of a flower. <sighs> Shelly, oh, please, that's gross. If you can, oh, Charlotte. Charlotte, are you watching Miss Deb tonight? I am so glad you're here. If you guys ever have kids or grandkids, I'd love to say hi to them, so let me know. But look, Charlotte, what we're painting tonight. Do you like to paint flowers? So, guys, encourage your kids or your grandkids to paint because, well, we know they love it. Obviously, it's fun, but also it will carry them through to adulthood. So, they won't be as stressed out as some of us get, right? If they can have something that reduces stress and they know, you know, hey, all I need is really a, a sketchbook you know, a mixed media pad, some paint, and um, and a brush or two, and I've got stress relief. So I'm just putting down a few colors. I'm gonna use the same ones I used for this one. So just pink, purple, yellow, and that's about it for right now. Summer squash, carousel pink, and vivid violet. That's what I'm using. I'm gonna get a round brush, dip it into my water, and then kind of, y'all can't see that, Kind of you know tap it off on the side and the first thing I'm going to do is this base of the flower so I'm going to use my darkest color and just come in here and not perfect I'm not even worried about staying in my little lines or it looking perfect I'm just getting that on here as you can see and then I'm going to dip into that pink and do the top part of this flower and you saw I didn't wash my brush or anything I just did this so right now we're kind of looking like a little spider because you've got a spider body and then the, the top of the spider, right? So it's not a spider, it's a flower, but I like to kind of compare things to like a football shape or, you know, those, oh, thank you, Christina. Look at her, y'all. The rest covered cottage is Christina and she sprinkled to the chuffed berry circle. Thank you so much, friend. I appreciate that. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> oh, and I didn't see your last emoji. That's okay. Aw. When he's in the room, he's not though, is he, Shelly Hen? Thank you, Dawn. You guys are so sweet to me. Thank you. Oh, Kathy, thanks. Well, I love y'all being here. I tell tell you, last night when I went back and I read all the comments, and I was like, oh man, there was a couple of people I didn't see, and I felt so bad because I love to say hi to y'all. I'm gonna move over here and show y'all how I get a, another color. So I'm just gonna take that pink and some of my yellow, and get a you know kind of an orangey peachy kind of color and you just kind of go back and forth until you like the look of it but that will give you a whole nother color to add so i'm just going to kind of pop it in here and there no nope, i'm not thinking about it i'm just doing it okay we're going to do more so don't don't worry yet we're just going to Keep on going. So I've still got my little round brush and I'm gonna get that purple on there and then I'm dipping it the tip into the pink. Let's see if y'all can see that. So purple and the pink at the same time and we're just gonna start doing our petals. So just, I'm kind of following my sketch but it's okay if I don't follow it perfectly. So purple and then pink. And then this one's kind of behind, so I'm just gonna kind of sort of sketch it in, you see. Purple, pink. And we're just going all the way around the circle. And you know, this is where you can always add or change since you did this in chalk. So I do prefer that chalk pencil over pen, um, chalk pencil over a regular pencil for that reason. It's easier to erase your whatever you don't want or cover it with paint, whatever. 
Hopefully you guys have had a good day. Let me know. I know we've had a lot of people that have sure needed prayer and and we need updates on those. So some of these I'm kind of squeezing on top of each other. Totally fine. And I hope you're noticing how fast I'm going. And that is to prove to y'all that you don't have to be fussy with it. So you don't have to, um, you know, really sit and try to stay in the lines or anything. You just go. It's been a good day. Yeah, that's how mine's been really busy. Yes. Hi, Tammy. Glad you're here. You got your grand's craft supplies for Christmas. Oh, that's so sweet, Rosie. See, you're helping them and they don't even know it. They just think it's fun right now. But when they're in college and they're so stressed out, if they can carve out just 10, 15, 20 minutes here and there, you know, obviously they're not gonna have a lot of time, but here and there, it will help. And and it gets out because you tend to forget your problems when you're doing something like this. Your brain, you're activating a different part of the brain. And so that other part that stresses and worries, it can't do that because this part of the brain is working. So it truly works. Okay, that's our base coat, guys. It truly works, so please, please try it if you haven't. Hi, Kim. You did, Rosie. Hopefully everything's okay. Oh, I bet he did, Michelle, because his uh, resistance is down. I've been wondering, I haven't asked you, I've been wondering if you had any updates on that. Okay, so I've got my background, which is the purple. I call it purple, it's actually fuchsia. Or no, this is, I use Vivid Violet. Vivid Violet. Purple and some pink. So now I am going to go back with a little bit more pink and put that in places. So it's gonna be random and quick. So just like so. I am not worried about what part of the flower, what part of the petal. I mean, you can go quick and just get a little swipe on here. Kind of on each petal is what I do, like so. So that now we're on our second layer. And I'm gonna also kind of do a little bit to this base of the flower. So I'm gonna get some pink in here. Let me just show you, I just kind of covered up the yellow with some pink. Wouldn't it be good if we could get this one done and go to the next one? Cause I do, I did paint a base in a navy blue and I thought I would show y'all a cream and gold one if we can get this done quick. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is make that kind of orangey peach color I told you about. So I'm gonna take more yellow and some pink and we're gonna make that kind of orangey color. And you know, I suggest kind of going slow, don't take a whole bunch because that way you can always fix it instead of ruining a big batch and then you know, taking forever to get back to where you were trying to do. So kind of start small and add a little bit at a time so you don't kind of overpower it. And that's perfect. So that gives me kind of a pretty orangey kind of color. And hello, guys that are coming in. You broke your ankle. Oh, Omi, I know. I'm so sorry. I see that's it really does help doesn't it and just the community we have such a great community okay so let's do some of this orange and you see quick quick don't overthink it just popping it in there your brush is doing the work and that's why I tell you guys get a couple of sets of brushes none of the brushes that I use are expensive these were about ten dollars and these are about ten dollars for a set they're both in my Amazon storefront, um, but they will, I mean, as you see, there's nothing, this is what I want y'all to know, there's nothing magical about any of us who paint. There's nothing, you know, you guys will say all the time, oh, you're so talented, oh, you're so talented, to all of us that paint. I'm here to tell you guys, there is no secret. So, um, it's not that we're talented, it's that we just keep doing it. So you just practice, practice this in a sketchbook and then practice more. If you want to do this flower, it won't take that long to learn it. And once you learn it, you can do it every time. 
So, you know, it's so sweet that you guys think we're so talented, but a lot of it is just doing it. It's just doing it and kind of letting go of some of your, you know, mindset of, oh, I wish I could, but I can't. You know what I mean? Thank you guys for helping if you're answering questions because I know I'm not looking at isn't it pretty, Michelle? I'm not looking at the comments as good as I usually do. Okay, so I'm going to come in here. Oh, I needed to put some orange in that. Hold on. Let's add some of that pretty orange up into this. I want to add a little more so that that shows even more. And I'm probably going to darken this bottom one down a little. But acrylic paint looks so pretty with layers. So you're like, well, why did you put that other stuff down? Well, look up close and you'll see why because you can still see that popping through um, and it just gives you an overall really pretty look i'm also going to take that purple and kind of tap 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 with the tip of my brush into any place that i'm seeing the blue down here at the base like so okay now i'm going to take my straight yellow so just yellow nothing else and kind of come and give little bits and you can switch to a smaller brush if you want to but just kind of little streaks of this yellow is what I'm trying to do and so so far I've only used this one brush but for the other ones I did switch my brush to a detail brush for some of this and when I say detail I mean like tiny let me show you like a tiny little tip on the end. Can y'all see that? Uh, but you can you can make it work with this. And I'm just in a hurry, so I'm going to keep going here. So this is just the straight yellow. And I'm just going to tap it in. Hope y'all can see. Just tap, tap, tap. Thank you guys so much for sprinkling and just for being here. The stars you gave, I appreciate that so much. I don't want to forget to say that. And then maybe just a little yellow kind of tapped in. But at this point, what I'm doing is kind of dry brushing. So I'm getting that yellow and you probably saw me kind of wipe it off. So go into that yellow, then wipe a lot of it off onto your palette or whatever, and then add that little streak. And it's, so it's sort of like dry brushing and it's what gives you just that overall really pretty look to this. Okay, so tell me if you're thinking, I think I can do that. See? Thank you so much, Monica. Appreciate it. It is cheerful. Yes, and that's the thing. You can, you know, if you're like, well, I don't have money for supplies. Okay, do cardboard. Don't worry about, it's not ceramic. Do cardboard. Whoever you give it to would love it just the same because you painted it for them. Trust me. Okay, so we're pretty much done. I am going to take that detail brush and we're going to put a little bit of black and white and I'll show you what I mean. So you just need a tiny dot. Thank you guys. Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. I tell you, you know, I typically do what I like and I just hope that there's people out there that like it too. I'm going to take just the smallest amount on my tip of my brush. Y'all see that? Tiny bit. And then I'm going to come across some of these flowers. Just brush it across one side of the flower to give it a little highlight. And you can definitely just do a little bit. You don't have to put as much as I'm putting if you don't want to. But I kind of like sometimes doing more sometimes more is more and sometimes more is too much but and then I'm gonna just tap a few into here okay now I'm not even worried about my brush getting totally clean but I'm gonna go into that black and kind of do some similar things with that black just on the tip so I'm gonna kind of um, give it a little rough outline ish Thing down here around the base of that flower so that it really shows that this is kind of the base and I typically will even uh, kind of come in here and scrub it out a little I don't know how to explain but just kind of do that and kind of break it up a little so it's not 
such lines, sort of like that. And then you can also take that black and put just little bits throughout. I don't do a whole, whole lot with this, but you can put just little bits here and there to kind of show shadow and definitely makes it pop. I just try not to do too, too much with the black. Okay, so there we go. Y'all see that? Thanks, Anna. So y'all are telling me that this is not blurry on your end, because when I look at my iPad, it's blurry. I don't understand. Good, Michelle, you can do it. I'm telling you. You'll be, you'll be messaging me going, look, look at this. Okay, so this one is, is good. I like it. I think it's perfect. Now, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like, because a lot of people will say, how much sealer do you use? I don't know how much to brush on. So let me show you that super fast. How are we doing on time? 7.30. Ooh, we're good. I think I might can get that other one some point. It does look clear, Christy. It's the weirdest thing. Well, I was really nervous that Facebook wasn't going to let me go live, so I kind of was testing it right before I started because um, when I was on Sarah's live right before this, it was giving me all kind of problems and I had to completely shut off my computer, turn it back on, try again, and um, and it worked okay after that, but I was really sweating it thinking, I'm gonna have so many issues. Good, I'm glad it's clear. So I tip here's what I typically do. I wouldn't say it's the best practice, but I typically just pour, oh, this isn't my new bottle. Ooh, I'm glad that happened, y'all. I was about to put multi-purpose sealer on it. And that is what I use for my base. So for my top on things like this to make it shiny, I use uh, Duraclear or Triple Thick. I use different ones just based on, I mean, I don't know. I can't even really tell you exactly when I use what. I just kind of get a feel for it. And I think, I thought this would be just fine on it. So that's what I did on these. And so I will show you about how much i just this is one of my old you can even see it says mod podge on it so that i remember don't use this for anything except sealer it's blurry and it keeps freezing veronica i'm so sorry but i'm glad you're here you have yeah it's definitely glitchy for sure so i'm glad y'all are sticking it out with me thank you for that so i'm gonna just get you know i just kind of soak my brush down in here to get it all into the bristles I don't want it dripping, so it's not dripping off the brush, but it's pretty saturated. And you can even see, see my brush has plenty on it. And I'm gonna just do right starting at the top and go down on all the whole surface. And I am trying to do this whole thing pretty quick. And if I can get that brushed on really nice, then that is all I have to do. So like, I'm done. I am gonna do the sides because the sides will be nice and shiny. And this one, I will have to paint the back later because I didn't do that since I was live. And then I'll sign it. I'll probably sign it on the back and then we'll give this away. How about that? So there we go. So that is start to finish your flower ornament and let me show you the ones I've done so that you can see kind of also I do the same thing where I will squeeze out all that extra in a paper towel because I don't want glue water in my little thing here but I was thought ahead and got an extra cup of water for this one just because I don't want to mix that with my paint water and that reminds me to tell y'all when you get a new set of brushes, I talked to somebody last night on Messenger about this. When you get a new set of brushes, they come really nice and pretty. You know what I'm talking about? You take them out and you're so proud and you're like, I'm never gonna leave this in water. And they're just all pristine. Um, and then after a while, they look like this. You know, they get a little fuzzier, but they put something on your brushes 
and it's a glue so that they look pretty and, and brand new when you get them out of the package. You need to take them and wash them in your sink with just some warm water. You don't have to use soap. Just take them with warm water, kind of rub them in between your fingers and you'll feel it come off. So don't forget to do that when you get new brushes. Okay, so here's the ones we already have done with the trip, uh, with the DuraClear on top. That's what they look like with that. Hi, Beth. Well, I'm glad you found me. Yay. Hope you'll come back. Okay, so we've now got three of these. See all those? And so, so easy. So don't say you can't do it. And then we're going to put some different colors down. And guys, also, if you're in the VIP group, you've got the, you've got the tracer for this flower already in the group. I already loaded it. And um, not that you need it because I showed you guys how to draw it out, but it's there. I'm going to put out a little cream, a little white, and a little gold. And we're going to do this, this one kind of similar to what we just did. I'll probably put out a little uh, black and make some gray. We're just going to make this a much more, I guess, classy looking flower, if you want to call it that. Um, just instead of the real bright colors. So let me mix those really fast. Oh, Kathy, you're too sweet. Thank you. Well, it came, you know, it was necessity. And then I just didn't, you know, I didn't have, when you, when you don't have the tools you really need, you just make do and you make it work. And now I've done it this way so long that I, it doesn't even phase me. I'm just, it's just what I do. So thank you though for the compliment. Okay, so here we go. These are the colors we have on this one. We're gonna do the same thing, but I'm not gonna sketch this out this time because we need to hurry. So y'all help me with time. So let's start with our, um, we're gonna do a base with this and with this gray. So let's just kind of get going. So we're gonna do, think of this like a spider, okay? So we're gonna do kind of the spider body is what I'm, this will help you guys kind of remember easy ways to kind of get these things done. And then like this. So, you know, if we were gonna do a spider, we would just do the eight legs, right? So you've got a rounded and then a little another kind of rounded and when I say kind of rounded, just that's, that's how easy. You do not have to make this complicated or hard. And then I'm just gonna start from that, from any point here, and I'm gonna come out and then go kind of into a point. And same thing over here, come out and then come into a point. And there's my first petal. And then I'm just gonna keep going, kind of alternating between these colors all the way around the flower. I hope this one turns out because I've not ever done these colors, but I kind of want to see it with just, you know, more neutrals. Y'all doing okay? Hi, Jeanette. I know this is late for me. Uh, so glad you're here. Jeanette owns, oh gosh, Back Street. Why am I blank, Jeanette? Put it for me, please, because my brain is not good. <laughs> back door creations? Back door? Back street? What's wrong with me? I give myself grace because um, regardless whether I have early onset or I'm just under pressure because I'm live, whatever, you know, I can't change it, but... Hi, Tracy. Glad you're here live. Um, I'm watching Jeanette because I want to see back room creations. Did I? I didn't say back room, did I? I think I said everything but. Sorry, girl. You know I know. I just go blank. You guys go be sure and check her out. I would love for you guys when we say things like that and ask, wouldn't it be great if she just all of a sudden had new people following her? It just is the best thing in the world 
when you're trying to grow your page. And it's not about numbers. It's about we need Facebook to monetize us, <laughs> to help us. So, it, you know, don't feel like, well, I'm just a number. Oh, no. Trust me. We are so grateful for you guys. But we also have to make an income or our spouses make us go get a, a full-time job, right? Okay. So I know this doesn't look like much. We're going to trust the process. We are going to trust the process. And hopefully we can make this just as pretty as our really colorful one. So I'm coming back in here with some of that kind of cream color. And then we're going to just kind of start building this up. We sure do. You just got back from a paint party, Judy. How fun. See, that's how I started was doing in-person paint parties. I'm just going into my white, but I have not cleaned off my brush. So a lot of white on here. And I loved doing the in-person parties. They're so fun, and you get to meet new people every night. And um, and the, the best part is watching people come in going, well, mine's not going to be good. I've never painted before, or I've tried this before, and it didn't turn out, you know, whatever. And that, to me, I'm like, okay, challenge accepted. Because I am so passionate about people just having fun with it. Like it doesn't have to be perfect. It can just be for fun. So your art never has to be something that you sell or that you, you know, uh, put online even. It's it's for our mental health and, and to bring us joy. And then I do think that you, if you stick with it, you'll get as good as I am or better. Some people pass me by. And that's the whole goal is if you want to then just keep going and get better and then that's when you feel comfortable sharing and that's part of the beauty of art is getting to share it with people okay so i've just added white so we just still have our cream our gray our white that's all we're doing and we're just kind of building then come back in here with this gray and just touch down on different places like i did before with remember we just did you we're just using different colors same exact technique different colors this is a, a really too light of a gray I need to add some darker back in so that's what I'll do next but I still think you're gonna see that this will turn pretty in a minute we're gonna just keep on going but by the time people would leave the paint party They'd come in with just no confidence and just kind of ready for like, oh, basically I'm here because she drugged me. I don't, I can't do it. And then when they left, they were like, wow, I'm so surprised. My husband's going to be so proud. And, you know, that's, I'm just like secretly going, yes, you know, because that's when you're like, see, it doesn't have to look like Picasso, but just have fun. Okay, so I've just added a little black so we can add a little bit darker gray into this mix. And let's kind of add that down here at the bottom, just tapping it in kind of and, and using what I have already to kind of blend. You guys trust the process. Coming around with some of this darker. How are we doing on time? I'm afraid to look at my watch. Okay, but I kind of am doing this super quick tonight so that I can show you that you'll, it'll still turn pretty even though we're not really putting a whole lot of effort. You know, we're just kind of putting on the little, the little marks. Now I am going to go to this detail brush. Okay, we're good. Did Dina get on? Designs by Dina. Where is she? I see you guys talking to her. Yes, Patty, thank you for saying that. Put a date on things. Like if you're using a mixed media pad, which is what I recommend starting with, date the bottom or date the back. You will be shocked. You'll be shocked. Hi, Mary. Listen, Mary. You guys, 
if you're a praying person, would you write down her name, Mary with Ocean Breeze and me? Um, her husband needs our prayers, and it's, you know, important to do that and lift her up. So go to her page, watch some of her old videos, pray for her husband, all the things that you can do. Look, I just put way too much white, so I'm going to just make that bigger. So I'm just coming on one side of this with my white. So the other side, I put some gray. This side, I'm kind of adding a little white. Um, but, you know, glad you're here, Mary, but you're on my heart for sure. So is he. Um, so anyway, just coming through here with this white on one side. And then I will tap, tap, tap in a little bit here. Now, here's where I hope this is going to start really coming together and looking more like a flower. Yes, thank you guys. I see you being so sweet. Well, Dina, now I see. Now I see you. You said something to Veronica. Hi, friend. <laughs> Glad you're here. I'm trying to hurry really fast, so I'm sorry that I'm missing a lot of you. I will go back, I promise. So now I'm just tapping into this gold, and we're going to lay down some gold. We're just going to... I'm trying to dry brush it, although my bottom layers are not dry. But the, the point is, you know, you can take your time and when you let one layer dry, you can come back on and put on some of like this gold and really, really looks pretty. Now, I'm, if you just barely touch down, you can do okay. It's not really smearing or anything, but it, it will work better to do lots of layers if you let them dry in between. Well, unless you're going for a certain look. There's, there's times that I don't let them dry. But I just kind of want to put some gold in some random places. We've been trying to get Dina to, well, she, she can paint. She's good. She just doesn't know it quite like I do. And then I'm just, you see, I'm just kind of coming around this roundness of the base of the flower with this gold. And I think that that's what I'm going to do a lot of this in. So just kind of tapping it around in that shape. And then right here, I'm just doing little tap, tap, taps. Like that part of the flower that has those little dots. That's kind of what, you know, what that is representative of. Okay. Let's see, guys. Oh, three minutes. We got it. We got it. Nelda, hello, friend. I'm glad you're here and hoping that you're not in too much back pain today. Lots of my, lots of my uh, members in my group and just people that watch have lots of pain. And so I'm so sorry, but I think it's almost, it's just interesting how so many of us kind of found each other that I so can relate. So I am using a little more black on this one than I did on the others because I'm kind of making it look, you know, you want it to, this is gonna really stand out now with that black. And then I'm gonna kind of go around the base of this flower, just tapping little tap marks. Cause I don't want a nice finished line. I just kind of want a jagged kind of line. Just little bits in there. Okay. Let's see. Lori, right now, I'm okay. When it, It's almost weird, but when I'm painting and on here with you guys, it gets better. Probably because I'm very still and I'm not doing a lot. But I think a part of it is just because y'all lift me up like no other. I just love being here with you guys, and um, so I just feel better. But I've had a little rough week, but that's okay. And then if you feel like it's too dark, you want to kind of calm it down, you're just going back over it with a little white. You know, we're just kind of calming it down. 
and that's about it y'all that's about it so this is not my favorite one but it is pretty still with all that gold i think these are my favorite with the colors i don't know i'm just a color person and i love a lot of color so that's what you do guys <laughs> now here's what i want to say I will be opening my private group soon, and I want you guys in there. If you need a place um, to learn how to paint, to learn how to do glass art, um, to just enjoy a creative escape from this messed up world we're in, then please consider coming to our group. I think you would love it. You can always try it for one month, and then if you don't like it, I'll even refund you. So try it for a month, and if you're like, I hated that then I'll be happy to give your money back because I don't think you will. Um, but, you know, you can always message me if you're like, I really need in there, then you come in there tonight. I'll get you in. I'm not one of those that demands you to wait until an opening time because it's too important. Our community is too important. So thank you guys for being here. I love you for it. And I appreciate all the shares and all the stars. And I will see you next time. Go up to the description in the video to get to Craft Run the Clock so you can see the next person after me. And I hope you have a good night, guys. Bye.